Hey everyone, it's Vanessa. I'm here today to record a short video telling you about my Reading Rush TBR for the Stay Home Reading Rush and answering the tag questions that were posed for this Reading Rush. Uh, the tag questions are very chatty, which is really the kind of video that I, I've been wanting to make of how it's been going because <laughs> I haven't really sat down to record a video in a couple weeks. Question number one, how is reading going while staying home? Really, the first week or two were going very well. I read so much. I read more than 20 books in February and then in March, and uh, we're almost halfway through April, and I think I've only read like seven books so far. They haven't really been like long books or anything. I just haven't been able to get through as much of them. I also feel like I'm in a bit of a rut, like the last four books that I've read, I rated less than three stars, like just lots of two and two and a half star books, so it hasn't gone great in the last week or so. I'm hoping that it picks back up as April keeps going in the second half of April. It has also felt like things have been picking up at work more, we've been doing more Zoom meetings and like trying to get things going virtually off the ground. Really not that fun to learn like this new software that you've never used to do a job that doesn't really work well virtually, but we're trying our best, so there's been a lot more of that and I think that also has stops my reading that and all the two star books i've been reading question number two is where have you been reading at home man everywhere on the bed on the couch with my feet up audiobooks on walks with my dog i've been the sole dog walker because my fiance tore his achilles about two months ago so lots of dog walking and audiobooks and audiobooks while doing dishes so many dishes nowadays and cooking and baking which is also something that I've been doing a lot more of just because we've been eating out less and going to the store less so kind of making work what you have in your home already and doing lots of yard work we're tearing up like all the siding in our yard and there's lots of metal pieces that we've been cleaning up it has been really tedious and boring and then i've been also doing lots of painting and i'm repainting all of the kitchen cabinets and the bathroom cabinets uh, the previous owner did a very, very haphazard job, so I'm basically sanding them all down and repainting. But the bad thing is that it's been snowing the past couple days, so it's been really cold. And I usually work in the garage, and it's been too cold to really continue painting. I'm doing like one coat a day and letting it dry. And also lots of laundry that goes along with the dishes. I've just been doing so much more laundry than I anticipated. Uh, considering I'm just home, I'm not really wearing work clothes. Every time I go out and I come back home, I'm like, I need to take these clothes off because I'm super paranoid about the virus just living on our bodies. Uh, I've been washing my hair more because of that as well. Question number three is best book you've read during isolation? The best fiction book I've read is Severance by Leng Ma. I don't know what it is about that book that just completely spoke to me in that moment. Felt like it understood my millennial brain. It was very, very captivating on audiobook and I definitely want to reread it very soon. My favorite nonfiction book that I've read during isolation is Open Book by Jessica Simpson. Another very, very captivating book um, full of juicy Hollywood gossip, very vulnerable writing as well. Question number four is what's your favorite feel-good book? The first thing that popped into my head was Matilda by Roald Dahl. Even though the things that happen in the book aren't necessarily feel good, I think it's the the writing and the narration that's feel good. Question number five is a book you wish you could buy or borrow from the library. Definitely it's Dragon Hoops by Jean Luan Yang. And that's been like the saddest because the day that we closed the library was Monday and the day that that book came out was the Tuesday. So it probably would have taken like two more days for the hold to come in. So I was like three days away from getting it and I can't get it now. I don't really wanna buy it. I don't wanna pay $25. I That's why I use my library. It's not gonna be the same experience on ebook. I don't even know if it's available on ebook or how much it costs. So that's been like the saddest part is not being able to read graphic novels in physical format and Dragon Hoops is the one that fit that description of me really missing out. Question number six is an author you want to shout out during this time. I definitely want to shout out Jessica Kim who wrote Stand Up Yumi Chung. I've seen her everywhere. I've seen her in like two different webinars that I've watched. I see her 
liking and retweeting things, liking things that I'm putting out into the world where I don't even tag her. She liked the post that I sent on Instagram about her book. She's really putting in the work and she's a debut author. So definitely if you like middle grade, I suggest Jessica Kim. She is working really hard and I think she does deserve some recognition. Question number seven is what is your reading rush TBR? The first challenge is to read a book with a house on the cover. And the one that I originally thought about this was one that I've already kind of started. I'm maybe like 20 pages in, so I probably will still read it for this challenge and it's We Dream of Space by Erin Entrada Kelly. It's an arc that I got through a middle grade webinar virtual conference that I attended a couple days ago so I want to finish that one. It's really good so far and it definitely has a house on the cover as you can see. The second challenge is to read a book in the same room. I don't know what book that's going to be but it's probably going to be a graphic novel, something that I can very quickly read all together. And the third challenge is a book set somewhere you wish you could go. I would like to go anywhere so i haven't quite decided what i wanted to do for this challenge because no book that i have on my current tbr is like specifically set in a place that you would want to go um but literally anywhere outside of my house would be a great place to go so we'll see once i start doing my reading for this readathon what it is I, I decide on and then the last one is a book that will make you smile i'm certain stepping stones is probably going to make me smile so i'm hoping to read this one and that is it for this tag and tbr if you're participating i hope they have lots of fun and i probably will vlog it we'll just see how it's going thank you so much for watching my video i will see you in my next one bye bye